Today, I'm talking about proportional relationships between X and Y. A relationship is proportional if you can write it like this. Y equals K times X. And if you can write it this way, it means 0, 0 is a solution. That means X equals 0, Y equals 0 is a solution. If you have something like this, y equals kx plus b, this is not proportional. Our first example, y equals 2.5x. This is exactly that, k equals 2.5. This is proportional. Also, you can check 0, 0. Is that a solution? 0 equals 2.5 times 0. This is proportional. All right. Yes. Yes. Y equals X minus 4. Is that proportional? Well, we can plug in 0, 0, and we get 0 equals 0 minus 4. 0 equals negative 4. That is false. Also, you'll see that this matches this format right here. So we'll write no. Now in the world around you, there's lots of things that are proportional and some that are not necessarily proportional, even though you might assume they are. Let's take a water bill, for example. The way a water bill works, you'll have to pay $25 every month, whether or not you use any water, and then plus $2 per ton of water that you use. So if you don't use any water one month, you'd still have to pay $25. This is not proportional. You can ask your parents, ask them this question. If we don't use any water for one month, what will our water bill be? If your water bill would be zero, then it's proportional, but it's probably not proportional you'll still have to pay that month, even if you don't use water. Talk to them about it. How about this one? You take your car to the gas station to get it filled up, and they're charging you $2 per gallon. If you go and you don't use any gas, you won't have to pay anything. This is this format right here. Y equals KX. Y equals K times x. This is proportional. And that's it for proportional relationships. Think about other things that might be proportional.